This one just let us down to the water. We just got uh, the power to create lilies on the water and by that overcome the water. So we're gonna try that out now. Why don't you create some lily pads here? Make him like stepping stones all the way to the island. The water lily brush technique creates lily pads on water. All I gotta do is draw circles on the water. Come on, Furball, let me see your work on this with that brush of yours. How many would I need? One? Two? One? One big one, maybe? Yes, that's it. There we go. Hey, hey, wipe that smirk off your face, Furball. At least we don't have to worry about getting wet anymore. I know, now that you have this new power, let's use it to travel a bit further out of the village. I know, there's a waterway for a ferry that went out of business around here. There's a ferry in here? Oh, outside. Alright. Okay. Our little Sakuya is back to her old peppy self, but there are still lots of guardian saplings that haven't blossomed. Well, we're gonna take care of that. We are going to take care of that, isn't it? Hazugami. Oh, no. Yes, I don't know how long they're actually staying there. So I better hurry up. You obtained a sun fragment. Collect three of these bright fragments to extend solar energy by one unit. Um, are we going to have a look over there? Oh yeah, might as well. Sweet. All right. So that over there already. Oops. Did go away. Okay, I can cut the tree, I cannot cut the boulder. Although I was able to cut pretty much all the boulder just a while ago, all the boulders. Oh, some rabbits I haven't fed yet. Some herbs for you. Keep on munching. Nice, nice, nice. Is there anything left in this village? I don't think so, actually. I don't think so. Oh. What about you? Mr. Orange's dance worked. All the withered trees around the village have sprung into bloom. Maybe now we'll be rid of all the monsters like the old days. Oh yes, the village festival's coming around again soon. We will need sacred saga for the celebrations. I must get started. So they have a festival soon, huh? I would say we will be coming back later for sad festivities. But for now, we're gonna 
make sure that Nippon has a wolf hero taking care of the monsters. Let me see, where do I actually go? Let's get up here. Hey guys. Alright, we're gonna take a look over here then. Taking count that here. A crag in here, that means I can probably... No. I bet it could be destroyed with a powerful explosion. Ah, yeah. Okay, right. Bombs. Bombs are a thing. When you draw a circle... ...with a little... ...strip on it. Hey guys, you want to be fed as well? Thank you for that. I'm gonna use those praise points at a later point, by the way. Oh no, I'm holding a bit. I don't really think I need it right now. Okay. Alright, technically we could continue over here because we now have the lily technique. But let us explore a little more. Of the area down here. With a house to the right. Anything over here? Let's see. Really wonder what I can do with these here. Hmm. They did anything, or if they really were just decoration? I think this is the bomb house. Or oh, was the bomb house on top of a mountain? Oh dear me, dear me, this is awful. Priest of Moonshrine Mika. Uh, a most welcome guest has wandered into our shrine. Your timing is immaculate, Wolf. I need to speak to you. Outside this lake, Harami, Nippon's largest lake. In the middle of it, there was an old shrine called the Moon Cave, but it's completely disappeared, vanished into thin air. It enshrines the wicked demon that Nagi in Shiranui once defeated. It houses Tsukuyumi, the fabled soul that keeps the demon at bay. The demon, it na its name was, no, I will be cursed if I say it. Anyway, the point is, what on earth has happened to the shrine? It is guarded day and night by the Tower Master Waka. On the one occasion he has to go back to the city, this happens. Oh dear. Lately, there have been monsters haunting these parts as well. Those meat chief making monsters are the worst. I expect this is their doing. Well, maybe not this time, but they still need to be dealt with. I've already prepared a wanted list for them. Oh, this is the guy with a wanted list. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright. Give it to me. The gods will have marked all those wanted monsters with, 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 with the... Yeah, speaking is hard today. I'm sorry. With a sign, you will know as soon as you lay eyes on them. However, they are very cautious. They only come out at night. Would you go put this list up somewhere obvious, Wolf? I'm sure some brave soul will step up to the challenge. Thank you for the monster list. Hey, this is a sweet job for us, Emmy. Let's keep this list handy and take care of all, of all those. We chief making monsters ourselves. I mean, we're gonna run into them whenever we like it or not. So we might as well collect the rewards too. Anyway, it seems they only come out at night. Let's give it a shot. Oh, that technically means I should probably learn how to make nighttime. That will make things easier. Maybe 
that is already the first one. Onimaru the incorrigible appeared. What's with this monster? It's got an exorcising arrow stuck in it. Exorcising arrows are sacred relics for driving away evil. That means somebody really wanted to get rid of this monster. Come on, Emmy, finish it off. Don't let it get away. Okay, that guy's dealt with. A total of 600 yen. Yeah. That was one of those monsters from the monster notebook. And we just happened to find it. Boy, you never know what you will find next. You know that monster notebook you have? Well, you can cross out the wanted monster you've taken care of. The monster you just finished off is on this wanted list. Go ahead and strike the name of the list with your brush. It was the first one, right? There we go. Four more to go. At this rate, it won't be long before you can cross them all out. Once you defeat all the wanted monsters, go to see the priest. Maybe he will give you a reward. Better do. Now, look at that. A bead. I remember finding this was quite hell. Um. Okay. So that is an option. Where was that little blue ghost? I don't see him anywhere here, but I'm sure I will eventually run into him. We're gonna go down here for now. Oh, was that the guy with the bombs? I think it was somewhere around here. I think I found the next guy. A koi fish? Is that a koi? No, it's not a koi. But it is a fish. explosion That's, no I think it is the bomb guy I think it is the bomb guy legend of Orochi scroll drawn by wandering artist contains useful information thank you very much for that let's talk to him hello sir oh no, 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 that can't be right. Ah, uh, it shouldn't be doing that. Ooh. No, 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 I checked and double checked my formula. No, no, no. Hey, you there, got a minute? Hmm. Whoa, what's this little wisp doing here? Hey, who are you calling a wisp? I'm Isen, the wandering artist. Well, 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 you're a little ball of fire, aren't you? I'm Tama. Tama, the flame, flaming pyrotechnist. That's what they call me. Listen up, you two. I'm just about to set up a humdinger of a doozy. Take a look at the formula I posted on the wall there. My whole career as a pyrotechnist has led to that formula, friend. It's for a little firework I've dubbed the Midnight Wonder Boy. There's only one problem. Even though I know the formula is sound, it's not working right yet. I know. 
Listen, pub, you've got good eyes, fiery eyes, smoldering eyes. Maybe your red hot glare is just what I need to set this off. Feast your eyes on the greatest display the world has ever seen. Hold on to your hats, kids. Here I go. The brightest constellation in the sky, the Midnight Wonder Boy. I sort of know that I need to do that here. Oh, it does work. Oh, nice. I think it's the it's a sign on the on the wall, a picture on the wall that shows what you have to draw. Nice. Holy smokes! That's time I may have a few screws loose, but boy, can he deliver? Hmm, that light again. Ah, could it be a constellation? Oh, it's another constellation. Yep, yep, yep. Who will it be this time? We set one here, and we're gonna put one here. Is that a boar? That is rolling on a bomb. Yeah. Of course. Ah, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. So often it is easy to forget that which we cannot see. Hidden away I had lost track of you, but now my soul is at ease. I, Bakugami, god of explosive force, lend my power to your cause. Use the cherry bomb to lay waste to foes and obstacles alike. Uh-oh, I think your baby boar is going to set you up. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, I think that did. Thank you for that technique. Hey, did another brush technique just come back to you? That was Bakugami, the god of explosions. His technique is called Cherry Bomb. Tama's enthusiasm must have awakened the god's power in you. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's give the Cherry Bomb a try. What about that crack ball over there? Why don't you try a Cherry Bomb on it? But be careful. Sure. Sweet. Whoa, look at that hole. It blasted that cracked wall to smithereens. That cherry bomb is one destructive technique. I mean, just think what it could do to monsters. It's gonna be tricky handling something that powerful, but I bet you will be using it, it all the time once you master it. Bakugami, very nice. And we have another treasure in front of us right here. A red statue. One of the 13 Zodiac treasures, it is posed whimsically. We have another tree over here. Sweet. Well, I would say we're making really good progress over here with getting all those techniques pretty fast. I think this is now our sixth technique, if I'm not mistaken. Here we have another tree. Hello. Another tree I said. There we go. That is one more point. Let's have a look down here. Here we can dig out a spot. And you are giving me a base. All right. Ah, damn it, I tried to... Oh, Toyo of the Short Temper appeared. Did I actually get to... crush out... the other guy? Or does the game do that automatically now? Crush out, I mean like scratch out. Okay, another Michi of Mega Monster down. Well, you know what to do, my fairy friends. Slash. Uh, he was called something with a temper. Now, why did I not do the other one? 
Yeah. It's weird. It's very weird. Maybe I need to pick up some more fights to hopefully run into more of these guys. Nope. Oh wow, we have uh, flying guys now. Ouch! Okay. Or maybe these guys were just regular monsters that I encountered for the first time. Oh wow, okay, they're setting themselves on fire with a bomb. Well, they're bombing themselves up. That's... that's... okay. Interesting. And it is daytime again. So monsters from that list only come out at night. But we still have a little crack to crack open over here. With our bombs. And really look at that. A coral fragment. Sweet. So, what is now going on here? Can continue down there. You know what? I think we're gonna continue down there. I think that's what we're going to do. You said something about the moon cave. Which I believe means that we are able to cast a moon for the day and night cycle. So that would be really, really come in handy. Huh. We passed under the shrine gate and followed the narrow path. So where the heck is the moon cave? It should be right here. Hey, what's with that big old mountain over there? Since when did that appear in the middle of Lake Harami? They say the Mooncave is where Nagi slew the legendary beast, but that huge mountain is way too big for the Mooncave, I remember. I mean, just look at it, it's massive. Let us take a look over there. Anything of interest? Anything glowing on the ground? Nope. Well, I guess we're just gonna head in. Oh. Youch, what the heck? There's some kind of barrier here. Never seen one so powerful before. We'd be better off staying away from this thing. Uh, alright. Right, right, right. Okay, this can actually not be opened until I have... Freed all of Nippon from the curse. And I believe this is also where the last boss fight happens. Against... Y you know who. You know who. We all know... The legend. Well, okay. Um, so that... So much for that. Mm, we have a merchant there, we have a merchant there. I guess then that means this area here is coming up next. And good thing now that I can draw myself some of those things here. And keep myself above water. Just like that. Oh, if I press X, I'm actually faster. No way. Okay. 
And look at that, we actually need the bomb technique as well as the lotus technique to proceed here. A new area awaits. And welcome to Agatha Forest. Because then expanded into the forest, I thought Eva would shun areas with so much grass and trees. It must really be some curse the way it's changed the forest. Alright. Time to take care of the forest then. 